What's up YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you my updated competitive classes. This, these are my S&D classes. I'll be bringing my Blitz and Dominations ones soon, and this is for the MLG variant rule set version 1. I don't know if I've released my video yet on my channel because I'm recording these about the same time. I don't know which one I'm going to put out yet, but anyway, these are those classes. So diving right into it as you guys can see I've got two assault rifle classes three submachine gun classes and a sniper class you may be wondering where's the shotguns because they're allowed uh -huh, wonderful but um I, I don't really like shotguns in S&D that's not really my thing you know I, I, I tend to stick with subs or ARs mostly maybe a sniper so yeah so the, this first class here you know I got my AK-12 with the muzzle brake and foregrip and I got a trophy system and then I got stalker quick draw dead silence and focus and then my strike package is support and I got the night owl squad mate and ground jammer so let me explain some of this so number one I still feel like foregrip is necessary on assault rifles and subs so that's what I'm using and I of course you want to put muzzle brake for increased damage um, and I, I like the iron sights on this gun and on my the sub I'm using um, this this trophy is here for a reason though um you know i i use it off of breaks initially to help the submachine gun player of our team or um you know to help secure a bomb site so that stuns and nades aren't getting chunked at us and we're just getting picked off and everything um the streaks here a little bit you know it, it's a fairly mobile class i'm a little slow moving because i don't have marathon or lightweight but that's okay of course, I've got focus and dead silence, so nobody can sound horn me. Um, the the strike package there. This is what all the pros are using. Um, I I don't. It's it's not the greatest. I mean, it, it's it's better than you know pretty much anything else right now because it's really hard to get anything in the assault strike package because everything's banned all the way up to like seven kills. So you know, but I mean, you can shoot the night owl out. You can shoot the squad mate pretty easily. The only thing you can't really take out the the ground jammer very easily but I mean it, it, it's alright this is what all the pros are using right now so that's that next one is just a slight variation but same principle only I don't have a tactical and um, instead of quick draw I have the tack resist and blast shield this is my slower moving assault rifle class it's more of a slayer class I find that you don't really need quick draw in an S&D setting for this particular gun um, so, you know, this is just, I'm going to stay alive no matter what you throw at me class. Next one is my submachine gun slayer class, and I'm still using the MTAR. Love this sub. I uh, got the muzzle brake and foregrip, of course. And I got marathon, quick draw, dead silence, focus, and tack resist. And then, of course, same strike package. All, all of these have the same strike package. I know it's a little bit tough sometimes in a competitive setting to get to 12 kills in one match, but, you know, th this is pretty much the best setup right now. Alright, next one here is my submachine gun rushing class, and I've got a concussion on there for my tactical, and I've got the, the only difference in perks between my um, sub slayer and my sub rush is the fact that I have ready up instead of the tack resist, because you know the concussion takes up one point and then ready up takes one point, while tack resist takes up two points, so that's what I'm doing. You know, this is the one that I would be using to help rush a bomb if I'm gonna do a quick push I'll stun over push past let my bomb carrier start planning because if you guys didn't know the bombs are raised up and you can see underneath there especially if somebody's got a sniper with a thermal so you don't want to plant right away unless you got somebody pushed up and to keep them from pushing you while you're planning so that that's what the, this class is for my next one is my submachine gun smoke class this is one for if I want to try a sneaky little move or if I want to be the bomb planner because I, I don't know I like throwing smokes down on the bombs now if I'm going to be planning but I generally won't because I'm not OBJ in this game right now so you know and I, I've also got ready up on this class and then I got my sniper class here and going a little bit into it I got the USR um, still loving that gun I've got chrome lined which is increased damage and I got thermal which is different than my old class setup uh, thermal just seems to work really well it's it's really really good in this game not like an mw3 or um, even black ops you know I, I really really like it in this game then for my secondary right now I'm using the m9a1 with muzzle brake um, I've been experimenting around don't really know what I like it's it, it's it, it's a preference right now you know you gotta work with it a little bit 
Uh, tactical, I got smoke because I've got um, thermal, you know, works well, and I can help cover my teammates and everything with the smoke as well, you know, do some sneaky stuff. And then for perks, I got reflex, quick draw, dead silence, and focus. Um, you know, reflex, so you can swap weapons faster, which is fairly important when it comes to sniping because you got to switch to your secondary in those close range engagements 99% of the time, unless you're just, you know, absolutely amazing and you can hit every no scope and everything. But yeah, so those are my classes, guys, for now. Um, let me know what you guys think. I will be updating these when, you know, MLG releases a version 2 update or if I do something really dramatic change with this. And I will, um, I'll be, I'll probably put my Domination and Blitz classes all in one video. Next time it's just S&D is a completely different ball game. So not sure exactly when the Blitz and Domination classes will be out because I haven't done those yet. We, we did a lot of GBs so far with S&Ds and this is what I've been using most of the time. So that's, what, that's why I'm bringing you these classes a little bit early. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everyone, peace out.